Hey guys, Catherine here. Um, I am going to be show you what, showing you what I'm doing today, and I'm just putting together my stack of scrap papers into Franken papers. I am lining everything up, and I want to make 12 by 12 sheets today because it's um, how I normally store my full papers is as 12 by 12 sheets. So I am going to be using this cutting mat. And this cutting mat happens to be 12 by 12, so it's the perfect thing to line up my papers to. Um, I'm going to start by grabbing just something I can start off with, which I think, I think is going to be this red one. I like starting off with a large sheet and then building out from it. And so I'm just going to line it up to one side of my cutting mat, and then I'm going to grab... Um, oh, music notes, maybe. Um, that's going to be wider than I want to use. That would be a waste of paper to use that. Um, how about, no, how about piratey things? Hmm. Yeah, I think right there. So I'll just cut it off and set that piece aside. And then turn this over and just run a bunch of glue. And I do have my iron hot in case I want to press anything flat. I haven't decided if I want to yet. I'm going to line this back up with the edge and the outside. And then line this up with the edge and the outside so that I end up, hopefully, with a 12 by 12 sheet. There we go, and then that's going to need a little bit more sticking down. Didn't get it quite high enough, but I wasn't aiming to because I can always lift it and smooth it back out later. And I call this Pirates because I don't know if you can read it, but it's got a bunch of piratey words on it. Uh, Buccaneer, Scurvy Pirate... Walk the plank, swashbuckler, just piratey words. Um, all right, and then that's all lined up. And then a piece for over here. Do I think that's going to? Oh, that will. Mm, I don't know that I want it to go that far across, though. There's no reason to have it go that far across, um, although it only just fits against this paper. Mm, I'm not sure there's enough overlap that it'll hold. This way, maybe? Mm, I don't think so. Uh... Trying not to slide my little pieces all around too much. Nope, that one's going to be too big. This one, it's pretty holy, but it'll get me closer. Yeah, I'll just pull that off and cut this right here, I think. The idea of this is, well, my idea of this is to get as many full sheets of paper as I can that look interesting and crazy out of the whole thing. Because I can use full sheets of paper much more easily than I can use bits and pieces. Don't get me wrong, I could totally use the bits and pieces anyway, but whole sheets are much 
easier to work with. All right, go everything lined up. All right, and then I can start working with itty bitty pieces way over here. I do think I want to put a little bit more glue right in this corner though. And I want to glue that bit down. All right, and then small pieces. Okay, pull these out of the way over there and then little things let's see I've got I've got this that'll give me a pretty good edge all the way along I think and I can just use it all the way across and I think I will all right How wide does that end up being? Up to like there. My glue's getting blocked up. I might be getting down to the last of the bottle. I don't think so. I think it's just gotten a little thick. Had this glue a little while. Well, I keep refilling it too. There we go. And line it up to the edges. And smooth everything down. All right, and then we've just got these holes to cover over here. Go. And I can decorate them further later. This is mostly just getting full sheets out of it that can then be decorated or used as I choose. I think just some solid blue. Sometimes you just want a solid bit of color. But I'm not sure. Eh, I'm not sure I want that slanty. But slanty is going to be the best way for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm just going around all of the inside bits. Okay, and then I will just stick it down and then lift up the corners and get those. Because so long as the corners are stuck down, Paper's way more likely to stay put. Then I'm just going to wipe away the excess. And that's one 12 by 12 page together and able to be decorated further. I know it doesn't look like much now, but that's because it isn't. But I can use it for other things. It makes it more able to be used. It increases its value, even though it's sort of just patched together. But that's kind of the idea. And just patching things together is sometimes the best way to go about it. Back's not much to look at, but they usually aren't, unless you decorate the back specifically, which can be done at another time. Set that aside and pull a new one up. Um, what kind of sheets have I got to work with? Oh, I do think I will use this, this one. All right. Just take and piece things together like that, maybe. Yep, 
Yeah, I think that'll give me a really good foundation to be going along with. Although those two could be foundation papers on their own, but I think, I think this is a good start. So same thing we do, let's go all the way around our outsides and circle around. A lot of these you'll notice have circles cut out, cut out of them. I was using them as backgrounds in um, bottle caps. I was pouring resin into bottle caps and using them as backgrounds and setting like feathers and things into them for the longest time. Well, I say the longest time. This was years ago. These paper scraps have been around for a while. All right. Okay, and then line this back all up with the edges. Line that back up there. And along the top before the glue sets too much and I can't move it around too much anymore. When you start spreading it thin, it starts drying quicker. And when you press it thin with your hands by smoothing it out, that helps too. I don't think I'm going to end up needing my iron on any of these though, which should be nice. Um, and then I think this, no, that's not wide enough. Maybe pirates again? Yeah. That'll get me awfully close. All right, let's line this back up real quick. It's not lined up there we go all right and then wipe off the excess real quick and smooth it down and get under this edge and under this edge and that's a really thin edge but there we go but every place to anchor it all right and then we are pretty darn close we just need little pieces and i think that there just a nice corner little pieces just to patch up these round cutouts <laughs> go and then just line the two sides up and then something for here that maybe that's kind of fun yeah go round the circles round and round the mulberry bush round these parts <laughs> go all the way out to the edge and two more spots and those can take really small things and I think I've got a stack in here of just really small things that yeah that can just about cover that
There we go. And then this last one, way down here. Um, another small thing. Oop, that edge is lifting. That corner's up. Okay. And that right there. Take that little bit. Yeah, that'll work. And it'll solve up that connection between the blue and the pirates. There we go. There's another page done. So I'll set it aside. And then I think music. Take that off. And start it. In that corner this time, I think. Oh, how long is this getting? Um, yeah, actually, two pages is good. If you guys like seeing these Franken pages, let me know. Um, I've got plenty more scraps. I can make more um, anytime. And um, if you liked it, comment because I'm glad to hear from you. And do subscribe let me know what you think of paper crafting and what you think i should do next okay bye